2011, money for information. A family devastated by murder believes cash could be the key to solving their loved one's death. In late October, Chesapeake police found 20-year-old Trevor Baldwin dead behind the wheel of his car. His killer is still on the streets. Tony, your side's Jason Mark spoke with family members. And Jason, they believe somebody knows something. Nicole, they do, and so do police. In fact, officers have several people they believe could have pulled the trigger, but they just don't have the evidence to connect them to the crime. So family is hoping money will make the streets talk. It's really hard. Ten months ago, Krista Bound met the man of her dreams in the unlikeliest of places. We met at Taco Bell parking lot. He pulled up next to me and was like, you're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. They quickly fell in love and he asked her to marry him. She, of course, said yes. He was a go-getter, laughing all the time. Bound hasn't been able to smile since September 30th. She was supposed to meet her fiance, 20-year-old Trevor Baldwin, that night. He called me at like 9.06. I was supposed to meet him at his house. Um, he never showed up. It's not like him, so for three hours I went searching for him. At 9.18, Chesapeake police got a call about an accident on Dunedin Drive. When officers arrived, they found a car crashed into a tree and a man in the driver's seat who'd been shot to death. When the detective tells you that the car is registered to a Trevor Baldwin, you look, it's hard. Police have yet to make an arrest. Detectives tell Ten on your side they believe they might know who pulled the trigger, but they just don't have enough evidence to connect them to the crime. I mean, you were man enough to put that gun in your hand, be man enough to, like, own up to it. Why? What? happen what caused this the baldwin family is looking for answers they began raising money for a reward which they believe will help bring out information it's terrible wouldn't you want to know like i just don't understand understand how somebody could know the truth and keep it to themselves imagine if it was somebody that you cared for if it was your brother your sister your nephew your mom your dad like you would want somebody to come forward and I think it's ridiculous that we have to offer money to have someone do the right thing. As we mentioned, police just need that one piece to connect all the dots. Families hoping the reward will help. And it's now up to $6,000. And they continue to raise money through a fund. You can find information on that at wavy.com. In the newsroom, Jason Marks, 10 on your side.